My name is Charity Colleen Lovejoy Krause. I was born on May 15th of the year 1977. At some point around 2008-2009, I came to believe and understand that I was an oracle. That I had come to Earth as part of a generation of people that had cosmic gifts and at some point uh, we were to be able to get in touch with some ancestors and that some of us were meant to be here specifically to live selflessly so that we could be recipients of a sort of light code download that the universe was sending out energy and part of this energy were means by which people could tap into things that they had already been given as part of their cosmic blessings and could activate. And then what would need to get where it needed to get gotten would get to where it needed to go. And the people who were tapping into their cosmic inheritance would be able to celebrate it. And then together collectively, we were going to do a lot of healing work on the planet. And we were going to do a lot of resolution concerning things that had been building karmically. This was a very important thing we were supposed to be involved with. And the big major point was to understand that the way you look did not necessarily exclusively define who and what your ancestral blessings were. And the understanding was to be unselfish and to not allow for a form of gaming that would dispossess people of what they needed. And so some of us were oracles. We were just supposed to be selfless and removed from a sense of property. And so what we got, we could do certain things with because that was our particular inheritance and capability. But that the understanding was it was supposed to flow. And then other people that were in other parts of the world would be doing something comparable. And there was actually a certain number of us. And we were very important. There was actually something special about a certain select group of us. And it was very important that we be where we were at the time we were. And at this time, I was living in a church with people who had a lot of light codes that were being unlocked connected to the Mayan calendar and their legacy and histories of being indigenous people that had encounters with the Mayan culture. It wasn't about possessiveness. It wasn't about property. They did not cast aspersions on me because I looked a certain way and I didn't for them either. But at some point in time, there was another agenda that infiltrated and inserted itself into the narrative and started discussing concepts of claiming ownership of the light codes and the symbolic representations of our inheritance. And somehow they thought they were supposed to be in some centralized role to determine who would get what at what time. And... What ended up happening is there was a karmic hijacking. And people who were not supposed to be in the positions they ended up in assumed some sort of helmsmanship. And when they did that, they colonized certain among us, including the oracles, and tried to strip us down and recharacterize us in a complete misrepresentation of who we were and what we came here with. And we have had wholesale fraud about our cosmic inheritance ever since this fucking happened. There was a variety of information that was coming out at that time. You know, about five years ago, they started recirculating the narratives, but they tweaked it. And so the things that were coming in in 2008 through 2011 ended up getting recapitulated in a complete misrepresentation of what had been unfolding before. They started talking about uh, activating extra strands of DNA and how to do it, but it had already been colonized and copyrighted and patented. And so all of a sudden, it's all based on a complete fallacy. 
Now, I'm letting you know that as of today, December 21st, 2020, I renounce my role as an oracle formally. I've said this before in private. I'm letting you all know that it's not appropriate to be so selfless when there are so many who are so selfish. We have been robbed for a very long time. And it is so unsustainable that if we do not rise up soon, we will not be able to sustain the planet's existence. We have wronged the cosmos. It's gone too fucking far. There's no more of this crap, of this ceremony that is an unholy satanic ceremony masquerading as a health pandemic. That's what this is. They're invoking dark forces they have absolutely no intention of taking responsibility for. They tapped into the darkness too much. They took from the innocent too profanely. They need to be stopped, and they will be stopped one way or another. But if we don't assert ourselves and rise up to stop them ourselves, then we will have to bear the consequences in our soul lives to come. I'm not going down with you guys on another soul level in another life. I came here to do important work. You've wasted my fucking time for over 10 fucking years. I'm sorry if your time has been wasted too. Now's the time we fucking do something or just tap the fuck out altogether. Stop masquerading all of this crap, this empty sentiment and just noise pollution. As I understand it correctly, we actually don't have a lot of time. We're at a very, very critical stage. I am not right now, personally. I already know. I have been so desecrated and harvested so many years in a row that I don't even have the motivation to produce seed. I am not going to let them insert little micro robots into me to try to program whatever my creative impulses are for somebody that's already purchased a fucking bullshit patent on something they stole. And I'm not supporting anybody that lets them design and implement that agenda moving forward in any way, shape, or form. We do not have a lot of time because it's wasted already. If we don't rise up this year, then we're not going to have another one.